In this video, we'll be having a look at the top 10 hottest Linux apps you should be using in 2025. Now these apps are going to take your Linux game to the next level. This list has something for everybody, giving you real world superpowers. We are talking about rescuing blurry old photos with AI, running your own private chat GPT completely offline on your computer and organizing your life in a beautiful open source workspace. These aren't just apps, they solve real problems and unlock incredible new possibilities. But that's not all. Wanna talk to your computer and have it take down notes as you speak? Done. Grab that text directly from a YouTube video or a photo, I got you covered. I installed and played around with more than 50 new Linux apps and I'm bringing you the best out of the best. Trust me, you want these. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Starting off with an absolute banger, we have Upscale on number 10. And as the name suggests, this upscales images. But it does it with industry leading quality. Check it out. We all have old photos from the early 2000s that look blurry and pixelated, especially on modern high res monitors. Upscale is here to rescue those memories. You just drag that blurry low resolution photo into the app, click one button and just watch as AI turns it into a sharp, clear and detailed image right before your eyes. The before and after is genuinely one of the most impressive things I've seen a local app do. Upscale uses powerful AI models to intelligently add details, not just stretch pixels. And it all happens locally so your photos stay completely private. And you actually get multiple models here so you can play around with different ones to get the results you resonate with. And this is packed with power user features. You can even batch process entire folders or use double upscale to boost resolution up to 16x. Perfect for turning tiny icons into poster worthy prints. For something this capable to be free, open source and proudly Linux first, this is truly amazing. Upscale is available as a snap and flat pack. Download links are given in the description below. Go get it. Coming in at number 9, we have Buzz. I absolutely love this one. Buzz is an audio transcription tool that lets me just talk to my computer and converts my speech into written text with incredible accuracy. With its live transcription feature, you can speak directly into your mic and Buzz instantly turns your words into editable text. It's perfect for ideas, meeting notes or just getting your thoughts down fast. Buzz runs on OpenAI's Whisper models and offers multiple model sizes to suit your hardware. And the best thing, it works offline and that means everything is kept private here. Yeah, while there are many apps that can do this, they do send your data to their servers for processing. With Buzz, not a single byte of data leaves your computer. On top of all that, the models themselves are open source which we love to see. It also handles audio and video file transcriptions like a pro. Just drop in your media and Buzz will turn it into text, again, offline on your computer itself. And you get various export format options here too. You can download Buzz and install it as a flat pack or snap from the links below. Frog is that one small app that solves an annoyingly universal problem, uncopyable text. Whether it's a quote in a pause due to video, text inside a screenshot or an error message that can't be selected, Frog lets you grab it like magic. You just fire it up, drag a box over literally anything and boom, the text is instantly in a window ready to be copied. It's fast, looks great and it's a perfect example of Linux desktop's magic. Small powerful apps that do their one job perfectly. It even reads QR codes. This is a must have for every Linux user. You can install it using the link given in the description below. At number 7, we have an app that I personally absolutely love and it has fundamentally changed the way I think, research and create. This is Logseek and it's not just a note taking app, this is my second brain. So what is Logseek? Unlike traditional apps where you create separate notes and stuff them into folders, Logseek works like a network of your thoughts. You write everything as bullet points in a daily journal. The core idea is just capture ideas as they come and then connect them over time using bi-directional links. This creates a web of knowledge, helping you see relationships between your nodes you would have otherwise not seen or forgotten. It's a completely different way of thinking. My biggest problem was that my ideas were trapped in separate nodes and folders. Logseek solved this. The aha moment for me was its outliner first design and the daily journal. Now I just dump everything on my mind, ideas, tasks, quotes into one place without worrying about organization. It's incredibly fast. Here's the magic. 
as you write, you create bi-directional links to connect ideas and use tags to organize them. Over time, Logseek builds a web of your knowledge automatically. When you go to a page, you see every other time you have ever mentioned that topic. It brings your own ideas back to you in ways you never expect. And because all your notes are just plain text files on your computer, you own your data forever. This isn't just an app, it's a tool for thinking. It lets you dump your entire world in and automatically brings the connected pieces together. I can personally vouch for Logseek's tremendous impact on organizing your ideas and life in general. Initially, it might, I mean, it will feel overwhelming, but I highly recommend that you stick with this for a month or two and it'll slowly but steadily build up. This one's amazing. On number six, we have the all powerful LM Studio. AI chatbots like ChatGPT are all the hype today. They are truly revolutionizing, you know, humanity itself. While ChatGPT is great and all, LM Studio takes it to the next level. LM Studio is a local application that lets you use powerful ChatGPT like models entirely on your local machine. Yeah, you heard that right. With LM Studio, you can run thousands of top specialized AI models on your computer and chat with them with 100% privacy. Llama, Mistral, DeepSeek, Quen, you get them all here. All your conversations, all the data that you give to LM Studio never leaves your computer. You can see that I have turned off internet connection on my computer and the conversation still goes on. How cool is this? Here's another fantastic feature. LM Studio is essentially an app store for LLMs. You just search for a model you want to try like Llama 4 or Mistral or Dolphin if you want to have uncensored conversations, wink wink. And you get a list of optimized versions ready to download with one click. No command lines, no complicated setups, just search, download and chat. For developers, it gets even better. LM Studio can start a local OpenAI compatible server letting you point existing tools and apps to your own private AI instead of the cloud. So along with data privacy, you get unlimited AI access for your scripts, automations and apps. How well these models perform largely depends on your computer's power. Download link in the description below. On number 5, we got Mission Center and this is the central command deck for your entire system. Mission Center is inspired by Windows Task Manager, but of course, it comes with Linux superpowers and in my opinion, it even looks better than its inspiration. It's a sleek command center for monitoring your Linux system in real time. Its special power is combining multiple command line tools like HTOP, NVTOP, IOTOP into a single beautiful graphical interface. You no longer need to be a terminal expert to get a deep look at your system's performance. The main dashboard is just gorgeous. You get these smooth animating graphs for your CPU, GPU, yeah, GPU too, memory and network all on one screen. It's built with modern tools like GTK4 and LibAdvaita, so it feels incredibly polished and fits right in with the latest GNOME desktop. The whole app is responsive and just a pleasure to click around in. And here's one cool feature. It cleverly separates the actual apps you're using from all the background stuff so you can easily see what's eating up your resources. And for all you gamers and creators out there, the GPU monitoring is top notch. Most Linux distributions already come with a powerful system monitor, but the default GNOME system monitor doesn't show GPU usage, so you're not actually getting a complete picture. This fixes that. It shows you detailed stats like VRAM usage, power draw and more. If you're a power user, a gamer or just plain curious about what your PC is doing, this is a must have. You can grab it from Flatter. On number 4, we have one for all the book lovers out there and it's hands down the most beautiful ebook reading experience on Linux. Enter Foliate. Now we have many ebook readers on Linux and they are quite functional, but Foliate goes a step beyond. It's designed to make reading on your desktop an actual joy. When you open a book and start reading, all the menus just fade away, leaving you with a clean, distraction-free view that looks absolutely stunning. My favorite part is how it adapts. When the window is wide, you get this cool two-page book-like layout. Make it narrower and it seamlessly reflows into a single scrollable page. And it's so smooth. And it's packed with smart features. You can highlight any word and get an instant dictionary or Wikipedia definition without ever leaving the app. How cool is this? Then it's got ton of themes. Light, dark, sepia. You can also customize the fonts and spacing to make it perfectly comfortable for your eyes. 
The library management too is good here. But the cool thing is, Foliate integrates many free online book libraries here and you can browse and download books directly from within Foliate. That too for free. Project Gutenberg integration is great here. It's got thousands of free books. This app just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? For me, reading, it's a deeply personal thing. It's like I'm transported to another world. And the thing is, Foliate developers understand this. With Foliate, there's no friction to reading, especially long sessions. This is a must-have app for people who love to read on their computers. BoxBuddy is a fantastic piece of software that makes playing with DistroBox that much easier. DistroBox is a phenomenal deck that lets you install other Linux distributions inside your distribution. With DistroBox, you can install Fedora or Arch Linux systems on your Ubuntu just like that. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Now this is not virtualization, so the performance is top notch. The possibilities with this are limitless. But the thing is, DistroBox doesn't have a GUI. So you'll have to use the terminal for everything. So you can say it's not that beginner friendly. BoxBuddy completely solves this issue by providing a simple yet complete GUI so even Linux newcomers can enjoy this fantastic technology. Using it is simple. First install DistroBox using the commands in the description below. Yeah, you need to have DistroBox installed. Then install and open BoxBuddy and you get this clean dashboard with all your boxes or containers. From here, you can enter, stop, clone or delete a container with a single click. Creating a new one is just as easy. You hit add box, give it a name and pick a distro from the list. That's it. See how simple and accessible it makes everything. But here's the real magic, the wow factor. Let's say you install GIMP inside your Ubuntu or any other container. You can then go back to BoxBuddy, find GIMP in the application list and click add to menu. Now you can launch GIMP right from your main system's app launcher just like a native app. It's so seamless. This is the ultimate tool for developers, distro hoppers and anyone who wants to explore the entire Linux ecosystem without the command line hassle. I think this app just killed distro hopping. I had never imagined the terminal app on Ubuntu would be replaced someday. That day is today and meet the more advanced, more powerful and more feature-rich terminal app replacing the Linux terminal for good. Meet Texas with a P. Fedora and Ubuntu have both made Tixis their new default terminal because this app is a serious upgrade to the old terminal. And the reason is simple. Tixis is built for the modern container driven world. If you use DistroBox or Toolbox, this terminal will change your life. The killer feature, when you click the new tab button, instead of just a generic prompt, you get a drop down menu listing your host system and every single container you have. With one click, you can open a new tab directly inside your Fedora or Arch container that we installed in the last section. No more fumbling with commands to enter a box, it just works. Then it gives you profiles that let you customize your terminal to a deep level and you can have multiple profiles. I also really like the tab overview feature that lets you see all your running tabs at a glance. This makes multitasking really effortless. Tixis also has GPU acceleration and you actually notice it in how smooth it feels. I actually made a video going in-depth with Texas and why Ubuntu is making it the default terminal. You can check that out here. Overall, the old terminal is great, but Texas is the future. And it's built with some mind-blowing and compelling feature. Actually, once you start using Texas, you will never go back to the old plain terminal. And finally, at number one, the top spot, we have an app that gives you the mind-bending power of Notion with the freedom of open source. This is AppFlowy. Look, Notion is great, really great, I love it. But your data is locked away on their servers and I've learned my lesson with Evernote. I used that app for decades and look how they butchered my boy. Above all, they made it ridiculously expensive to use. So forgive me if I sound reserved. AppFlowy puts you back in control of your data. It's a stunning privacy-first workspace where you own your data, period. Yeah, you can self-host this. When using, the app feels just as powerful and flexible as Notion. You can create complex project boards with Kanban views, build out a team wiki or just jot down notes. Notion is very powerful and you can really manage your entire life with it. AppFlowy stands up to the challenge and it's really there. And because this is a locally running application, it has that element of instant responsiveness. I love that. And this looks more premium as well. And the AI integration is brilliant. It can use cloud models, sure, but it also has a plugin system for local AI. 
that means you can run powerful models like Llama 4 right on your own machine. You know to summarize your private notes, get answers, all without anything ever leaving your computer. How amazing is that? AppFlowy is built on Flutter and Rust, so it's fast, native and works everywhere. Yeah, you get AppFlowy apps for literally every platform. For teams, individuals or anyone who values data privacy but still wants a powerful all-in-one workspace, AppFlowy is the answer. It's the future of productivity and it's open source. There you have it. Top 10 apps that I loved using in 2025. In this list, we obviously didn't have older and well-established applications like GIMP, Kden Lab, and others. In this video, I explored the newcomers or at least new apps that I found that are gaining traction and I feel that this was quite an impressive list. The download instructions for all the apps are given in the description below. Use the comment section below and tell me which of these apps you loved the most. I'd love to hear from you. And if you use some other apps that were not on the list, definitely drop them in the comments and I might feature them in my next video. I myself loved AppFlowy. Alright, if you found this video useful, if you enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 10 hottest Linux terminal apps that you should be using in 2025. It's got some really cool ones, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.